myself definitely this being my first year you know I kind of got thrown into it happily um, it was rough we only had Monday through Wednesday with the whole team to practice so we kind of tried to cram everything into one practice which gets really difficult but we knew it was going to be tough Henley's got a great program they've got a lot of great girls I think we hustled we tried our hardest um, we left it all out there there's things we noticed that we're going to definitely work on for Tuesday Normally, seasons here don't start until post-fair. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the way schedules worked out this year. Pros and cons of playing this early. This early, we just got done having trials last week. Uh, teams were decided a week ago. So, I mean, it makes it really difficult. The girls are all meshed together for the first three practices, and then all of a sudden, you know, we have limited time, limited time to work on the offense, especially with, you know, like the younger girls who have never really done it or this varsity team that is kind of working with a new group of girls. Mm -hmm. Well, at the same time, too, most teams make their biggest jump regardless of the sport between game one and game two. You get those first game jitters out of the way. So what are you looking forward to uh, for the next game? Next game, we're really going to come out. Um, we're going to talk in the back row. Our biggest thing was not moving our feet on serve-receive. we got to get under the ball. we got to anticipate those passes. We've also got to cover our blockers and cover our hitters. It's a it's an issue where we leave some gaps on the court where the other team reads that and they spot the ball right there. Well, game two is kind of rough with that opening start for teams that run, but in game one in particular, there were flashes of some real problems. There were some great blocks. There were some great saves. Uh, what did you see from the team tonight that were positives that you can take away and, and move forward? With? Positives definitely are serving. Big thing. Um, we hit the serving hard in these first three days before our first game and I feel like the girls did a great job. The our hitters, you know, we put some hitters in some different spots. We switched some middles and some outsides around. I think the girls really took that well and they used their brains and they they played their game. Mm -hmm. Last year this was a very young team, they only, only a couple of seniors they did it last year playing a young team and now you inherit a veteran squad with mm -hmm. quite a few seniors, quite a few players who have a lot of game experience. Uh, how much does that help coming in both as you as a first year coach uh, as well as uh, coming into the early parts of the season? Um, it helps me a lot. I mean half our team's seniors so those girls have been playing together for four plus years and I kind of am able to lean on them a little bit. I know that they've got great attitudes, they're going to help me. The juniors also it helps because most of them last year were on varsity, so they've got those skills, and it helps because when we don't have very much practice time before our first game, we can go straight into the tech, like the technical things, the little things, instead of having to start over. So first game jitters, who are more nervous? You're at the team, or are you doing this interview? Um, so that the interview is not as bad. I'm actually calmer now. It was hard for me to eat like the whole day until about two o'clock. I was super nervous, but you know. Once I sat on the bench for JV, everything, I just kind of focused into game mode, and now it's out of the way. Good. 